So I go upstairs to charge my battery for my phone. And Linda comes, well, actually, the Panty Princess being Tia Frio comes out of the credit card bill. Do you know how much he's charged up on my mother's credit card since I've met him in 10 years? He has to have spent over $80,000 on my mom's credit card that I've had to pay for, by the way. Um, so apparently, like, uh, I asked him as, uh, I have a toilet paper to you, and I've taken care of you for the last 10 fucking years. So I wanted uh, some money for the uh, for coffee. He just went out to my mother and, like, he's like, here, she's really on a tear. So my mother fucking starts in. Uh, it's, the bill is 600 There's three on it of mine, 300 And it's a big fucking problem now. So uh, Linda says that I have till Monday that her and Lou want me in a mental facility. I'm like, excuse me? I was like, what is wrong with you? Like, no, I mean, like, I'll tell you the conversation first. So I'm like, uh, you realize I've been in the hospital three times. I was like, uh, I've been documented. I was like, I came out. I did that stupid follow-up um, appointment with a therapist just to check in once a week to show them I'm alive and whatever and explain what's going on in crazy town with you and dad. I was like, you know, that the therapist said she diagnosed it as Munchausen by proxy, uh, Munchausen syndrome by proxy, meaning that you and dad are constantly searching for something that's unfulfilling to the two of you pushing it on me like I have a biological or mental disorder. Meanwhile, it's whatever's going on in your head, neck of the wood, meaning neck to fucking skull cap. And my mother's like, no, Nicole, that's not what happened. And I'm like, wait, what? And I'm like, did you or did you not go with me to the appointment so we could confirm I was there once a week and that um, I was speaking to her about the problems I had at home? And that uh, she was saying it was Munchausen uh, syndrome by proxy. And she had explained it to you, Linda, what it was. And my mom was like, that's not what happened, Nicole. The fuck? He I mean, it is like, it is honestly, it is mentally torturous to be in a house with them, with this government in this situation. I warn you. I mean, and then I said to her. And she's like, you know, and then she goes into her mental, her small box mental insanity loop like Elizabeth has with her fucking Charlie son and grandson who only gives a shit about saving their royal crown and their royal reputation, who sold everybody, black, white, Hispanic, Afghan, Pakistan, whatever, to fucking Hong Kong Hilton and the to tuning Tokyo problem of yesteryear Halocon that I fucking warned about coming on in when I had a pinpoint po portal open in my human calculus for Calcaneus where I'm able, I know the fabric of space and time. I know what I'm able to do. I know my tools, my workshop. I know what I'm up against. So I open these things. I have a council of representatives, which is how your Intel gets updated and you're able to know and move world leadership. So there's a open portal with the same council from when Halakon gave the Terracotta army the warning back in the day. I opened my own private council that would, that would always be exactly the same visual and the same representatives that represented everybody from all my holy whatever, all my holy relationships on one and one. Until all of a sudden, now, Charlie, the horse is coming in the future, 1978, as the year of the horse. My mom's year of the rat, that was a fucking problem. My grandmother was, I don't know what, 1919, um, at one of them. And that was a problem around the same time as Elizabeth, who was a little bit after my grandmother. Um, so, Terracotta Army, already a problem back then. And then every turn got a little bit further. So, my grandmother... Um, I had a problem with early death and genetic programming um, and her husband. I told you in my files, all of a sudden, my counsel started changing. I'm like, who are you? They're like, well, I'm from, I'm, a I'm Ashi from Pakistan, and I'm your representative from Punjab in Midnight, Midnight, Mid 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 I'm like, 
Those aren't even your words. I was like, I have a Halicon being the con, being I'm the same kind of con as K-A-H-N. I have a Han, H-A-N, representative for Mittenach from Germany. I have a con from somewhere over in, like, a Pakistani relationship kind of sort of and then I had to add a different con so there's two different kinds of con one Arab one Pakistani Muslim because then all of a sudden everything started changing and I wanted the faces remain the same because they know how like careful I am treading on eggshells as my new body is coming up ahead in the same council so you could queue up one image and you can question any of the consciousness from back in history that are going to be the people in the squirrel house genetics based on human calcaneus and human calculus of where my next appearance in pinpoint where goddess Nicole is going to be Halicon in visual in the future, open the space and fabric of time and put the people that are going to be around the world in leadership inside there without the terracotta army in there with any visual representation. So this way, all of our words and our files and our MI stays locked and protected. So this way they don't hurt Nicole. So, now, why didn't that fucking happen? I'm just curious. Because I now have mental programming and over-programming on subliminal of my mother and father. It comes up time and time again. I know it was in a mention file. Now it's in actuality. And it's multiple times. So which one of the terracotta uh, visually disfigured medical people did you put in charge of mental uh, reprogramming over Zodiac and whatever for Halicon, for her real life family she's being born to in the future? Since, here's the thing, ready for this? Where is the Charlie horse? Well, on the medical uh, examiners, it's a cramp, a really bad cramp in your calf. A calf, really, the holy cow, C-A-L-F, the baby cow, it's in your calf. Well, yeah, it is. When you have a Charlie horse, it's in the calf. So I have a Charlie horse file for the Bravo Charlie problem of both Charlies being Elizabeth's fucking future possible heir, and then the terracotta briefcase, which it was supposed to be a briefcase, but then all of a sudden it got dragged the fuck out. Then it went backwards as they started to get more shit and learn more stuff. And then only you realize that their schooling is everything with Halicon returning to human form and military strategy, how to overtake anything that is not genetically similar to their disfigured face, being that they will no longer be in any form of existence and they're trying to fool the world and take on the serpent appearance and lie to everybody that their eye is the actual serpent's eye and that they're the Halicon people over my one and only word and knowing better and my guardianship with all area human and leaving MI files everywhere throughout all space, time, and history as uh, the only star being. So now what do I do when it's my one word against an entire group of genetically disfigured people who some of them know, some of them don't. They keep waking up going, we didn't do anything. Uh, you didn't in the everyday Bambi walking around. But you have very specific people in very scary places that not only broke my royal arm... They also triggered their way into making sure that my, I wasn't discovered going into like deep-seated issues between keeping a royal family that's not royal in a kingdom with an emperor that's not really a fucking emperor and a whole terracotta army in China that's buried under dirt just like Halicon and God is in uh, Isis and the Sphinx. The Sphinx also in Giza. Same time, what, actually, they're in tiered succession when anthropology can dig them up, so this way there's other stuff that goes on with checking out my actual uh, kingdom bloodline of I'm the only kingdom, along with Niklaus's bloodline on the way in for the only seeds that Halicon will ever come back as, and that would be my genetic appearance. So, 
Um, and I told Mittenock Files the exact same thing. Both cons, K-A-H-N, my Han being a, a male, uh, I think we might have added a female at one point since skirts became a problem, but her skirt wasn't because she knows she's the only one that I would ever access in order to ask for help, but he'd have to do that since I don't even have access to looking up my records. I don't have paper records. I don't have computer records. I am stuck in the dark, walking the fabric of space and time in a double, uh, um, a helix, a double helix in a double compression where the air around me is blank space going out. And then I have to, I have to wrap the science in what was prepared for me before I got here and try to read that from my and, and read past what the visual spectrum of light picks up with my two-tone halicon ability. Do you know as a, and then they call it a, a sentient relation. I mean, do you not understand how difficult you pin me? I'm supposed to be the savior, not only for Christland, but also for all area guardianship that know better in obelisk territory about this open case I have going on with the children that are the group of children who seem innocent now in every modern, like in every day, but their catalog's been shut down and they're trying to override that and they're taking it out on my kingdom bloodline. I mean, Nicholas can corroborate that part. And the reason why we put Khan with a Latinized name, it's not the Germanic Han that uh, Halicon, being myself, and Niklaus are together Halicon, one male, one female, with a different genetic eye than the Terracotta Army. But we were the witness back then, and we're coming back in the future. We don't want, since we discontinued their catalog of people, they die off, and they're not, we are not renewing anything with them because they're a big problem in our pinpoint human calculus of calcaneus um whatever and they're and we've documented who they've hurt and how um so we gave a uh pakistani and an arab nation name in file of four letters because that's how we work our stuff and we gave a visual k and then Ahan, because that was our Arab and our Muslim meeting with an ashy and then more of a darker right color, uh, we called Midnight for um, Arab, for the one meeting between the Khan being the visual of the two Hans being Halicons, looking at and being spelled C-O-N as the H-A-N, that then is going to be the visual for the H-A-N, but of a different, non-visually related human meeting. That's how the name Khan came around, K-H-A-N, and our C-O-N, since it has to be slightly different, and then also um, Han being a male and, or a female, uh, but we're always one-to-one -one in the meeting. And then there's only males in the meeting. I'm the only woman ever. So this way, that doesn't become a problem. Because as time went on and more documents started to happen, it, everything with the Terracotta Army seemed to be a problem. And then they started moving land forces and infiltrating and confusing the land people. Then they started throwing their women into breeding. And then this way, they got different eyes that looked more like them and became more of a problem. I mean, we documented this all throughout space, time, and history. I don't understand why I come around and all of a sudden now, you're allowing their new version to become a Charlie horse file in my real appearance as Halicon, whose guardianship, all area security, that you left in the fucking field with no Fidelis whatsoever, not a face, not a, not a face that I recognize, no face that speaks anything I recognize, and everybody, uh, I don't know who is controlling the keyboards of the Zodiac Life programming, or who bought it, who sold it. I'm sure an MI file has it somewhere, but it gets confusing because then Elizabeth put some stupid-ass fucking scholar in there who then started doing departmental spelling changes saying that this kid doesn't even know how to spell. And then the Han, the Khan, and the other Khan had to sit down and say, no, we have a special way of spelling between our group for the case with the, because they're, we know what's going on. 
And then that became a problem because now Elizabeth bore Charlie and scholar department and then they're trying to grow. Meanwhile, nobody's fucking checking on the terracotta China people and just how dangerous and how they're targeting. They're coming up with ideas that target all area land forces by land, by sea, by air. Any of you fucking awake and alive? Or are you going to let me go and be committed to another fucking mental hospital because Linda is under subliminal control by one of the fucking terracotta army, like, uh, keyboard people in subliminal programming just to fuck with my day halicon? Where the fuck is anybody awake and alive?